we who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. What we experience during the Feast of the Martyrs and the Feast of the Cross, with all the beautiful meaning that they indicate about strength, is a reminder of other wrong rulings. Like one asking this question, who was stronger, the crucified Jesus or the Jews who crucified him? The Lord Jesus experienced various types of humiliation, was flogged, hanged on a piece of timber, but he was strong in his crucifixion, capable of defeating sin and the devil and opening the gates of paradise. He was stronger than those who crucified him, who were defeated by the sins of injustice, the cruelty, envy and false witnessing. Another question is, who was stronger, Cain, the murderer, or Abel, the murdered? Cain managed to throw Abel on the ground and murder him. Nevertheless, Cain was not strong. The sins of envy, hatred, and cruelty overcame, defeated him. As for Abel, the murdered, he was much higher than that. Often a conqueror thinks he is a victorious and shows off in vanity and self-admiration, while in reality he is defeated. He is defeated by himself, who could not overcome its desires, and defeated by other sins and wrong rules that enabled him to imagine victory where there is only defeat. The same with the one who, when he strikes you on the right cheek, you offer him the other also. Do you think he has defeated you? No. His anger, fury, and lack of respect for others defeated him. The same with the one who insults and humiliates you. Poor fellow, he thinks he is stronger than you. His heart and his tongue defeated him. Everyone in this world could get angry, abuse, and, and attack others. But the strong one is that who controls his temper, his tongue, and his senses and endures. The one who endures is the stronger. Therefore, the Apostle says, we then who are strong ought to bear with the scrupulous of the weak. Does Herod think that he was stronger than John the Baptist because he offered John's head on a platter? Definitely not. The murdered was stronger. Herod remained in fear of John even after he was beheaded. And when Jesus appeared, Herod thought that it was John risen from the dead. How amazing are people's rulings. They think it is strength when it is nothing but weakness. They think it is victory when it is nothing but defeat. They are wrong rules. My brother, triumph over yourself. The one who defeats himself is better than the one who defeats a city. So always decipher what is right from what is wrong. Think and you make the choice. Stay with us and let's look at the following story. The story goes that four ministers had a series of theological arguments and three were always in accord against the fourth. One day, the odd minister out after the usual three to one majority rules, statement that signified that he had lost again decided to appeal to a higher authority. O oh Lord, he cried, I know in my heart that I am right and they are wrong. Please give me a sign to prove it to them. It was a beautiful sunny day. As soon as the minister finished his prayer, a storm cloud moved across the sky above the fall. It trembled once and dissolved. A sign from God. See, I am right. I knew it. But the other three <laughs> disagreed, pointing out that that storm clouds form on hot days. So the minister prayed again, Oh God, I need a bigger sign to show that I am right and they are wrong. So please, Lord, a bigger sign. This time, four storm clouds appeared, rushed toward each other to form one big cloud, and the bolt of lightning slammed into a tree on a nearby hill. I told you I was right, cried the minister, but his friends insisted that nothing had happened, 
that could not be explained by natural causes. The minister was getting ready to ask for a very big sign. But just as he said, oh God, the sky turned pitch black, the earth shook and a deep booming voice intoned, he is right. The minister put his hands on his hips, turned to the other three and said, well, so, shrugged one of the other ministers, now it's three to two. Stay with us, let's pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, in my present need, help me to believe that you are a wave of my anxiety and will do what is best for me. Give me the strength to trust you and put the present and future in your hands. Grant this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.